Hello, and welcome back to Nick's Hobbies and Interests. As it's a new week, we're going to start with another entry to my model railway collection. I picked up this little engine way back when at a toy festival, festival? auction slash fair. Now, he was very cheap, you know, he had no box, he was just sitting there on a the table. But when I spotted it, I was like, I've got to get it for my collection. Who, you know, you need a little shunter, you need something reliable that's just going to, you know, haul little bits of freight back and forward. And this did it for me, I really loved it. Now it's just analogue, it's nothing special, it's got no sound, no, you know, no, nothing else. No, it's not DCC fitted, anything, it is just DC. But he's such a nice little dinky guy that I thought, yeah, I'm going to get use out of you. I don't know whether actually it fits law friendly with the Welsh build I'm going to go with. I'd have to do my research on that. I know I've seen a couple of them in the UK, but I don't know if they are present as such between Cardiff and Aberystwyth. I know when I was one of the last times I was with my uncle, we went to a train yard then and as we were walking to the engine shed, we did walk past one. If I've still got the photograph, I'll throw it up around about now, along with some others I captured on the same day. Now, whether you like train spotting or not, I do recommend you take photos because when you do come to weathering your own locos, I've got something to relate to, haven't I? I can look back at a photograph and be like, right, okay, there's some dirt here, the grime here, etc. You can add it appropriately. Or you can just, of course, wing it, just, you know, go with however you, you know, want. If you're doing a post apocalyptic piece, you could have blood and bits and pieces all splattered all over it but you know all to their own i i probably would later down the line i probably would build a post-apocalyptic uh, model railway if i was i'd probably go with something metro themed from russia the books the metro books and followed by the video games there's a train in exodus i know the video game at least exodus has the train a uh, big steam engine I would probably build something similar to that, go with that sort of wacky, you know, out there, post-apocalyptic kind of build. So we'll see. It doesn't even need to be a loop, it can just be end-to-end, -end. you know, it's just a piece, isn't it? It's like a museum piece. So yeah, something to think about. I've got so many different projects, even with the model railway stuff, in my mind. So behind the scenes, you know, I'm trying to think of how these can all work, whether it's going to be here, somewhere else, just wherever I can I'm going to try and build something this year or at least crack on with building something anyway if you got this far thank you for watching like share subscribe comment ring the bell and yeah let me know what you think until next time take care